Carl, I think just in terms of um, savings and getting into that regular savings habit, even if it's just a very small amount, maybe each week or month or whatever, it might be yeah. important, is that? Absolutely, and it, it'll allow all of you to be in control of your own destiny as far as things go in that respect, and it probably sounds a bit far-fetched, but it's a habit that you get into now about always being in control of your money and, and having that facility there to go and do what you need to do without thinking, how am I going to pay this back? Mm. It, it's, it's a nice problem to not have. I've seen people take out far too much of what they should have, struggle to pay it off, and end up in all sorts of trouble. And then I've seen people who've been savvy enough to you know, not stupidly take out things that they weren't able to afford and, and never have those sort of problems and live in much nicer houses, drive nicer cars, do all the things that you ultimately want to do, but just not trying to force it on straight away. Mm -hmm. So be patient really, yeah. in that regard as yeah, well. Yeah, there's, there's nothing that says that you can't be you know, very careful with your money, or there's nothing that says that you, you can't you know, afford to take a bit of risk and, and invest a bit. I would say if you're in your 20s and you, know, you lost a bit of money on Bitcoin, or if you lost it on you know, stocks and shares, that's not the end of the world because you, you're going to make that back later on in life. It's not like you've blown your entire inheritance or anything like that. You've, you've taken a risk and it hasn't quite happened. 